just as our atmosphere allows all this to exist. The atmosphere of Titan is the perfect temperature and pressure to allow something to exist that has never been seen before on a world beyond Earth. What if I told you there's a moon in our solar system where life doesn't need water because it breathes poison instead? Saturn's Titan has rivers of gasoline, lakes of methane and organic sand dunes. Everything Earth life would die in. But NASA just found something moving there. And here's the terrifying part. Our robots can't detect it because Titan life would be so alien we might not even recognize it. This isn't sci-fi. It's why scientists are rewriting the rules of biology right now. Chapter 1. The Impossible Alien World Imagine a place where the lakes aren't filled with water, they're filled with gasoline, where the sand dunes aren't made of rock, but of plastic-like organic flakes, where the air is so thick and toxic that breathing it would kill you instantly. This isn't some distant exoplanet. This is Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and scientists are now convinced it might be hiding life, unlike anything we've ever imagined. For years, we assumed life needed three things, liquid water, warmth, and organic molecules. But Titan breaks every single rule. Its surface is a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, cold enough to turn oxygen into a liquid. Instead of water oceans, it has sprawling lakes of methane and ethane, the main ingredients in natural gas. And its atmosphere, a thick orange haze of nitrogen laced with hydrogen cyanide, one of the deadliest poisons known to science. Yet when NASA's Cassini probe studied Titan up close, it found something bizarre. The moon's surface is drenched in complex organic compounds, the building blocks of life. But here's the catch. Titan's chemistry is so alien that these molecules behave in ways we can barely understand. For example, the sand dunes near its equator are made of tholins, a tar-like substance that forms when sunlight cooks methane. On Earth, this stuff would be toxic waste. On Titan, it might be life's version of soil. Even stranger are Titan's liquid cycles. Just like Earth has water evaporation and rain, Titan has methane storms that dump flammable liquid across its surface. These rivers and lakes don't just sit there, they move, they change, they erode the landscape. And in 2019, researchers noticed something odd. The levels of acetylene near Titan's surface are mysteriously low. On Earth, microbes eat acetylene for energy. Could something similar be happening there? The biggest problem? Our tools aren't built to find this kind of life. All our experiments look for water-based biology, but Titan life, if it exists, might use liquid methane the way we use water, with cell membranes made of nitrogen compounds instead of fats. It might breathe hydrogen instead of oxygen and thrive in temperatures that would freeze our cells solid. That's why NASA's upcoming Dragonfly mission is so radical. Instead of another rover, it's sending a nuclear-powered drone to hop across Titan's dunes, sampling organic material in ways we've never tried before. Because if life is there, it won't be waving hello. It'll be hiding in plain sight, so fundamentally different that recognizing it might require rewriting biology itself. And if you think that's mind-blowing, wait until you hear what scientists found deep in Titan's underground ocean. Chapter 2. The Hidden Ocean Beneath if Titan's surface wasn't strange enough, scientists have discovered something even wilder lurking beneath its icy crust. A massive underground ocean that could rewrite everything we know about life in the universe. For decades, researchers suspected Titan might have a subsurface sea, but when Cassini's radar pierced through the moon's icy shell, it revealed an ocean twice as deep as Earth's, wrapped around the entire moon like a liquid blanket. This isn't just water, it's a briny, ammonia-rich soup under crushing pressure, kept liquid by tidal forces from Saturn's gravity. 
and new data suggests it might be spewing into space. The clues? Mysterious cryovolcanoes, ice volcanoes that erupt slushy water instead of lava. Cassini spotted what looked like ancient flows near Titan's North Pole, and in 2025, NASA's Dragonfly drone will hunt for fresh ones. But here's the kicker. These plumes might carry organic material from the ocean below up to the surface. In other words, Titan could be venting its secrets into the open. Even more intriguing are the hydrogen molecules vanishing near Titan's surface. On Earth, this would be a textbook sign of microbes breathing hydrogen for energy. But Titan isn't Earth, so scientists have proposed mind-bending alternatives. One theory suggests life there might use acetylene instead of sugar, reacting it with hydrogen to create methane. Another wild idea, organisms that thrive in liquid methane lakes with cell membranes made of acrylonitrile, a molecule already detected in Titan's atmosphere. The real shock came when researchers simulated Titan's ocean chemistry. Under its extreme pressure, water could form exotic ice layers with bizarre properties like hot ice, ice 7, that's warmer than liquid water but stays solid. If hydrothermal vents exist down there, like Earth's life-rich lost city vents, they could be brewing a second, separate biosphere entirely. But here's the problem. Even Dragonfly can't drill through 50 miles of ice. To truly investigate, we'd need a nuclear-powered cryobot, a probe that melts through the crust like the upcoming Trident mission to Neptune's moon Triton. Until then, Titan's ocean remains the ultimate cosmic tease, proof that habitable zones aren't just about distance from a star, but about chemistry we're only beginning to grasp. And if you think that's as weird as it gets, wait until you hear about the time Titan's atmosphere suddenly glowed. Chapter 3 – The Living Sky Titan's upper atmosphere is conducting an alien chemistry experiment right before our eyes. During solar storms, Cassini detected an eerie purple glow, not just auroras, but something far stranger. The haze particles here are assembling themselves into increasingly complex organic molecules, some large enough to be considered the precursors to life. The James Webb Telescope recently identified vinyl cyanide in these high altitudes, a molecule that could theoretically form stable cell membranes in Titan's methane lakes. Even more compelling, lab experiments at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have shown these atmospheric compounds can self-organize into microscopic structures resembling primitive cells when exposed to Titan-like conditions. This suggests Titan's sky might literally be raining organic building blocks into its methane lakes below. The process mirrors how scientists believe life began on Earth, but with a crucial difference. Instead of water-based chemistry, Titan's version uses liquid methane as its solvent and hydrogen cyanide as its backbone. The implications are staggering. If this atmospheric factory is indeed creating prebiotic compounds that then interact in Titan's surface liquids, we may be witnessing an entirely separate Genesis story unfolding. Dragonfly's 2034 mission will sample these organics directly, potentially answering whether Titan has developed its own unique form of biology. What makes this especially profound is that Titan's chemistry operates on different rules than Earth's. Any life there would challenge our fundamental definitions of biology. As researcher Sarah Hurst puts it, we're not just looking for life as we know it, we're trying to recognize life as we don't know it. This atmospheric discovery completes Titan's trifecta of habitable environments, a potentially life-bearing sky above, organic dunes in the middle, and a hidden subsurface ocean below. Together, they make Titan the most compelling laboratory for alternative biochemistry in our solar system. Titan doesn't just hint that life might exist elsewhere. It suggests life could arise in ways we've never imagined. 